This is Susan Posner from Susan'sAirbrush.net and today we're going to be teaching you how to make stencils for airbrushing. The list of materials you're going to need is a hard background, whether it be a piece of cardboard, plastic, and your X-Acto knife, and of course your pencil in case you want to draw something special, and you're ready to go. First of all, you're going to need whatever pattern that you want for airbrushing or making your stencil. And today I've picked out one that's called kind of a diamond plate type look to it. But this is larger scale than what I wanted. So I've taken that format and I've put it on a photocopier and I've made it smaller to what I want for what is going to fit on the part that I'm going to be painting. And next, after I pick out the size I want, I'm ready for cutting. You'll need your X-Acto knife. Put it on a hard background. If you have a piece of glass, a piece of wood, something that's flat and doesn't make anything wavy, you set it on your format. You start cutting. This will take some time and some patience, especially for all these small type of little cuts. And I'm just doing one to show you. After you've got it cut, you pull it out, and when you're all done, you take your format away, which I have one already cut, and it will look like this. You'll have all your little individual skip squares cut out. Now you're ready to put it against whatever you're going to paint, and start painting and have fun. And thank you for watching.